Hello guys, this is Jin. I've sat around the world in six continents and I would like to share traveling tips through my experience and research. Today in this video, I compare leaky stove with a gas stove. For the leaky stove, I'm having MSR Whisper Light International, which I have the 2014. This pump is one year old. Last year, I tried to fix when the pure leak, then I broke the valve. So this is new one. And this is a Coleman Peak one, which I bought uh, last year. I've test for the boiling time of 500 milliliter, and also the burning time, how long it lasts. The result will vary depending on altitude, temperature, wind, and the product. For the gas stove, when there was wind, it took 4 minutes and 30 seconds to boil 500 milliliter water. When I test it indoor, it took 2 minutes and 50 seconds. Burning time was 2 hours and 15 minutes. For 98 only the petrol, I struck 30 times at the beginning, as the manual say like that. It took 5 minutes and 40 seconds to boil 500 ml of water. For the burning time, I thought it was about to die after 2.5 hours. So I struck to use all the remaining fuel. But it gets stronger. I realized I was testing with a low medium heat for 2.5 hours. So I decided to test 5 minutes of boiling time again with more strokes. This time, it only takes 2 minutes and 45 seconds. I keep the heat high and it lasted 1 hour more. So total burning time was 2.5 hours with low medium heat and 1 hour with high heat. There was no pressure left when I opened the cap. This is different from when there is a fuel left and the bottle was totally empty. When I test with a white gas, I decided to keep high heat. So from the beginning, I stroked a lot. 500ml boiling water takes 2 minutes and 35 seconds. I kept giving a stroke at every 10 to 15 minutes to keep high heat, and it lasted 2 hours and 24 minutes. Official website say 2 hours and 60 minutes for burning time of white gas, so this was 8 minutes longer. Let's not forget I used this stove for over 7 years with only petrol that it still works well. Burning time was all similar. You can make a plan of how much fuel you need to take. It can be 4 days, 5 days, 9 days, 14 days, or 28 days to use. Preparing time is around 20 seconds for the gas stove. Preparing liquid soap takes more time because it needs preheat to turn from liquid to the gas. Shimmering is very simple for gas stove. Whisper light doesn't have such a flame control that it's more like only on and off. If you don't want a strong flame, then just stroke a few times in the beginning. Or you can just lift up your pot during cooking. Some product has a flame control such as MSR Dragonfly, but it's very loud. One time when I was cycling with a bunch of other cyclists, I saw one guy had uh, this uh, stove that we really thank him when he finished cooking. This stove has very clean burning that there's no soot coming out. But for the leaky stuff, there's always soot, so your hand and pot get always dirty. Gas stuff doesn't need to any maintain. But for the leaky stuff, sometimes you have to clean when the orange flame doesn't turn to the blue flame. Also because of the soot, I have to separate well and then also pack with the extra plastic bag not to make dirty any other things. There's a smell remaining, so I never mix the stuff with the clothes. I always put on my camping bag with extra plus bag. Checking left fuel for the gas canister is not easy. You have to shake just to guess. Or you measure on the scale. Or you can put water and see how it floats. For the leaky stove, it's easy, you just open and see. Gas canister company do not recommend refill, although there's an adapter to do, because there's accident can happen. For the leaky stove, it's simple, you just open and pour. If you are using gas stove in the very freezing cold winter, the performance will be not that good. And also it depends on the product. Butane gas will not work below minus 0.5. And I use a butane propane will not work around the minus 10. There's some special gas canister will still work around the minus 27. But MSR official website recommend to use liquid stuff if you go high mountains 
or very cold places. Because no matter what situation is, liquid stove will still work. But gas canister is depending. To get a simple butane gas canister is easier than to get a camping gas canister. If you decide to travel with a gas stove, you might consider to carry adapter to use different kind of gas canister. It might be difficult to find a gas canister when there is no camping or outdoor cultures. Only the petrol is everywhere or on the world that is simple and easy to get. But in some countries like New Zealand, Australia, China, I had a problem to get. So I always prepare the picture of MSR stove that I, I was proving that this is for just cooking, not for anything other else. And you can get the white gas easily in North America. In some countries, they have different names. And MSR official website having this uh, list of the different names of each countries. And you might difficult to find white gas in some countries. Then you can just use uh, only the petrol. Actually, MSR website says consider petrol a last resort due to the addictives and the impurities causing clog. But I recommend a world cycling trip to use MSR useful light because of the using petrol which you can find all around the world. To be honest, I never use a white gas. I always use the petrol last seven years and it's still working. Sometimes orange flame doesn't turn to the blue flame then it makes only soot and it's not possible to cook because it's weak and I just open and clean and it works fine so I think it's not a big problem to use the petrol so here's the conclusion gas stove is uh, very comfortable with a simple setting easy shimmering and clean burning so this is good for short trip or weekend trip or the trip to the country where camping or outdoor cooking is uh, common Leaky stove is not that comfortable with uh, a big complicated setting and soot making your hand and pot dirty and smell remaining. However, this works fine in high mountain and then cold temperature. So this is good for alpine climbing or world cycling trip where you don't need to worry about uh, getting fuel. I'll talk about my traveling experience with a different gas stove. Before starting, my, one of my friends gave me beer can stove. So I traveled with this beer stove in North America, Latin America, Africa over two and a half years. And once I get out of America, I usually find a fuel at the pharmacy, which was very weak. So it takes 20 to 30 minutes to cook noodle. But in this place, the food was affordable price. So I didn't cook much. So it was not a big problem. One time when I was in Africa, I really wanted to cook, but I didn't find any fuel. So I used a candle. <laughs> so everything is possible if you want. When I was just starting Europe trip, one of my hosts gave me pocket stove as a gift. And since then I searched more cooking often. When I was preparing winter trip in Europe, I bought the MSR Whisper Light. And I've used it seven years and I like it because the easy fuel availability. I hope this video was helpful and interesting. And this video was brought by your support. <laughs> Thank you so much for your last week's support. And please check the below link that I'm having merch. And I put uh, new designs that you know, I like making joke. So it's just some meme product and I hope you like it. There's a promo code that if you type bike, B-I-K-E, you will get the 15% discount. So hurry up before it expired. Thank you so much for watching to the end. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.